I'm going to descend further in order to see. Hotel of the Lilac Eyes. Addressed to someone other than Bataille. I can no longer cry. I vomit. I no longer laugh. I grind my teeth. How I despise this dry and evil laugh. It graffitis all of my senses, every sentence which manages to escape, every gesture which is decomposing, the me which other people think they see better than me. That I understand it better than them, than you, and with an irony that's ferocious. And then I cry. My teeth grind. I vomit. I know full well that I'm not going to see you again. You and all the others. It's time to quit this play. It's time to completely hold my life in my own hands. To be alone in the desert, the place of stones. To be there as me, and no longer as someone who hardly resembles me. To be me, I must turn to dreaming. Listen. Every day of my life, death followed me. I saw it in the red sword in mud, in the sky of stars. I saw it partaking in the intense hatred and joys of others. Other people shared it with me as if it was a miracle, not common. They believe that death is Christ. I saw death in the horror of the simultaneity of the frightfulness and the sweetness of language, of human communication. Death was a line of the horizon, as simple as anything geometrical. My sight is clear. I'm not drunk. What's making me seem that I'm drunk is death, is following rendering me so exhausted, I'm breaking. This death, whom I call mine, my shame, would do well to drop me off on some street corner as quickly as possible, or hand me other over to the other shades for whom I've got respect. But I'm not going to be broken like this. I've got my childhood back. I found my childhood in pavement and in leaves, in the stable earth and in the water. Tell Bataille, and this time it's the truth, that I'm now truly the witch, the one who makes the teeth grind, the eyes blink too rapidly, Everything makes another person turn away in horror. There are no witches or eternal mother. This is who I am. One day, someone placed this ad in the paper. Looking for lost dog. Woof. Perhaps, all I want to say is one word before everything stops. Before this ridiculous, 
Abject, unworthy hell stops before death. I say it now, lightning's going to fall on my head. It's going to be night in full noon. Dusk is going to turn into break of day. The streets are going to be rivers. Everything except his name is foam. Foam is tossed over the edge. I'm not drunk. I tried everything. To lose myself, to get rid of memory, to resemble whom I don't resemble, to end. Sometimes when I encountered myself, I was so strange that I had to be criminal. All the time, I was totally polite. And simultaneously, my language was brutal, filthy. I meet a star. I tried to give my life away, and life came back, gushed into its sources, a stream, a storm, into the fold of me, triumphant. And it stayed there hidden, like a lightning stain. Later on. I believe that what was written could be communicated. But this is the question. Is it possible to communicate with another person? I want to communicate. It's time. When I involuntarily stopped speaking, as if there was no longer anything, strangled, voiceless, in this bottom of myself, 
I found a magnificent feast of possibilities. Then all changed. The feast turned into a fairground of drunkenness, worse into a scummy flea market where crack was being sold. Or else I simply saw that my eyes were shut. I recovered myself in sweat and in ash. 